Alright, I wanted to show you some models I made from Satoshi Kamiya. And the first one I've made is this little Pegasus out here. This is the non-shaped one. I also have one that is shaped. This one. And I wanted it shaped so it's actually like crabbing its wing or something. Coming on to the next. I made the Tyrannosaurus from Stoshikamia with a big piece of paper, otherwise I couldn't make it. It is recommended to do it with a big sized paper anyway. It's better. I also did the Barosaurus. It's quite a long model, also made with a quite big paper. Quite large something. I also made the Unicorn. I like this one the most. <coughs> Not only because it's so hard to make, but of course, because it's so beautiful when you finish it. I made the Orca of Satoshi Kamiya. This one was quite easy and comes in big when you finish it with normal paper. I made the Divine Boar. If you buy the book, it's pronounced as Inoshishigami. Doesn't really matter anyway. I also made the Mammoth. Pretty nice. Not that hard if you are experienced with complex models, but if you are a new folder, I recommend you that you won't start with these models. That you at least know it. The easiest model I ever folded in a while, the Yellow Bird from Final Fantasy, also known by ma many gamers. It's quite easy to fold, but it gets out of shape in a little while. Um, I also made the Wizard. Also one of the nicest models I've made so far. I'm gonna remake it, of course. And that's not only because the hands and fingers are not really that nice, but also the rope isn't very nice. And the hat. And of course the head. I have made the Kirin, the legendary beast. Also uh, from Satoshi Kamiya. Um, this is also a pretty easy model I've made here. Well, let's go on to the next. Carnotaurus. These things on the head are actually not the eyes. These are the horns. Google it if you have questions. Why are those... Why are many people named that as like eyes? People who may do that are pretty damn stupid. Sorry. Alright. Also an easy model. And let's see. Ah. The Eagle Ray. It's pretty easy. But if you are not quite familiar with reshaping and stuff, you might not want to make this model. Next up, the Splash Swan, utterly pronounced as... Mm, no, I don't have any pronounced. But I call it the Swan in the Water, or just coming out of coming into the water. 
um, I made a I made it with a pretty large sheet why so I could let everyone see that it's quite easy to fold but it's quite it's quite hard to fold the head with a yeah with a small piece of paper at least moving on to the next I like this one really good it's the how can I say this um, Hercules beetle which uh, which of which of course is pretty complex I also made this with a quite large sheet of paper otherwise it would be this small this at least twice as small as this one so yeah and now I'm moving on to the models I made which are only in origami and titan conventions or magazines I'll begin with the African elephant of Satoshi Kamiya if you look in the book you won't find this model but only on its but only on his uh, gallery site it is quite easy but if you but most experienced folks get the Ten Titan magazines and stuff so yeah next one is the what was it doing? oh yeah yeah the little bird this one is quite complex also because it needs quite a bit of shaping and yeah you must need to shape a little bit or more than a little bit to get it quite right and it's quite cute when you look at it and I also made something else I really like but it's quite a small one the Bahamut Dragon from Final Fantasy it's quite a small one indeed it's made from a normal paper out of um, out of small books and note blocks yeah I'm quite experienced in this model because I've made it so many times I just know all the steps out of my head and of course it's quite ha hard to do the head if you are going to make it very small well this is all the models I've made so far from Satoshi Kamiya and I've created one model myself which is this little one out here this is a little monster I didn't got a name for it yet but if you could decide a name for it then you could post that in the comments I really like this one that's why well then that's all the models I've made so far and uh, well be sure to subscribe because I'm posting more videos on the way and especially I'm going to tutorial some of the models including the Pegasus and probably the African elephant but you'll know this when I post a new video well subscribe and rate just two seconds bye